everybody, welcome to Dr. Chan's Minor Elements Forum today. I've read an article that's quite interesting, so I thought I'll share with you today. And it's basically based on uh, infantile colics. For those of you who have children, you might know about this condition already. But this um, condition actually means that a, a child cries excessively, but um, no matter what you do, they still cry and they appear to be healthy otherwise. So there's several schools of um, reasons behind why a child or children would have colics. Uh, it's not, we're not really sure why it happens, but um, one school is saying that it could be potentially related to uh, trap gas in the gut, which understandably because the babies are not, um, the guts are not very well developed at the beginning. So obviously when they eat some gas might get trapped into the system and causing pain. Another school of explanation is they might be allergic to some sort of proteins that they ingest. For example, some sort of milk powder might cause the problem. Now saying that, interestingly, uh, both breastfed and bottle fed children um, do suffer from colics. So to be honest, it doesn't really matter what is the cause of the colics. Most important thing is know how to deal with it. and knowing that this is um, a benign condition that the babies tend to grow out of it on their own. So let's say if a baby comes in for colics, what we normally do is a, do a general examination, making sure everything is normal. Um, most of the time they are actually. Um, in that case we will say, you know, most important thing is to reassure the parents that these are very common conditions that they will go away on its own because parents uh, do get very worried when they come in and see a doctor regarding uh, the babies crying all the time and they've done everything and nothing is working and they do worry that it's something that they've done or they haven't done that causing the, um, the problem and most important thing to take home is is a benign condition that no matter what the parents do it will still happen and uh, it will go away on its own generally. So secondly is to learn how to soothe the baby. Now generally walk, like rocking motions um, do help. So let's say for example a baby is in a pram, a gentle rocking mov movement uh, of the pram would generally help with uh, their, their symptoms and uh, also worth looking into the way that you feed the babies. Let's say if you are um, bottle feeding the baby. It's important to look into the bottles that you're using. Um, we do have some special um, bottles out there that are like anti-reflux and they've got a tube in the mid middle to prevent the baby sucking in too much air. And it's probably worth um, purchasing those bottles and give it a try to see if that improves. Also, um, a cyclical movement of the baby's leg are also useful. So you just imagine the baby's lying flat and you're cycling their feet. That helps to um, help the air to, or the gas, to move around the gut for it to be expelled and hence reduce the um, trap wind in the system. And if all these are not helping, then you could also try some medication, but I always say, you know, best to do without medication if you can. But there are two different kind of medications that you can try. Uh, for example, one is uh, what we call a co-leaf, which is a lactase-based medication. Uh, with this, I would say you, you can have a trial for one week and if the baby has improvement on co-leaf, then you can continue using it. But we generally say to try to cut down as soon as possible and ideally not to use it for more than three to six months. And another option that we can do is something called Infocol which is a um, semetacone uh, based medication. There are other brands as well under this umbrella. And, and once again with this kind of thing I would like you to um, use it for the shortest period of time if possible and after one week and it has made no improvement then ideally you shouldn't continue using the medication. Most important thing is if you do worry about your babies and he or she is crying too much and most important thing to do is to actually bring the child to your GP to be seen because it could be just colics which is easily treated but it could be something serious that we might need further investigation. So I hope that the information is useful for you and please don't hesitate to contact your GP if you've got further information or questions. Okay, take care for now. Bye-bye.